People on Cape Cod say they are fed up with a local bus company. They rely on it to get to their jobs here in Boston, but say the unreliable service leaves them scrambling. Brianna Pitts is here with the details in this week's Pit Stop. Brianna. Chris and Kate, as we all know, the commuter rail doesn't service the Cape, leaving people there with limited options when it comes to public transportation. I spent the morning with one woman who tells me she never really knows exactly how or when she'll get to work. Julie Sylvia's mornings start dark and early. She pours a cup of coffee. Hi, Rose. Rose, come here. Feeds her dog, Rosie. And she's out the door. For six years, Julie has been driving to the Sagamore Park and Ride, boarding the PMB bus to Boston, and taking the Green Line to her job at Boston Children's Hospital. But constant cancellations by the PMB have made it tough. I've missed meetings on the way in. I've definitely missed meetings. They had blamed that on the drivers having seasonal work that's more lucrative. Well, it's September. In late September, and they're still canceling. Cancellations, delays, and overcrowding are just some of the PMB's problems. Julie says the new ticketing system only causes confusion. They'll scan a 10 ride pass, and then the next day I'll still have 10. So it's really, or I'll have zero. It, it's bizarre. The PMB is one of the only affordable options that people on Cape Cod and the South Shore have for commuting into Boston. But commuters say the PMB knows this and they take advantage of it. It's 5 30 bus didn't show up a week ago. 5 30 in the morning? Yep. We all stood here like idiots. Kathy Langmeyer takes the bus to avoid expensive commuter rail passes and parking fees, but she says she pays the price in wasted time. Last night, 615 bus didn't show up. Left work at 10 minutes, quarter of um, six. Got here at 830. This is ridiculous. It happens all the time. The company provided a statement to WBZ that reads in part, while we regret the necessity to have canceled several scheduled trips due to a recent shortage of available bus drivers, we are embarking on an aggressive campaign to recruit and train additional drivers. Stop saying sorry. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to hear sorry anymore. I want to know that there's a solution coming. They're not going to always have this control over us. Get your act together. It's that simple. Plymouth and Brockton Street Railway Company has actually been operating in Massachusetts for more than 120 years. They were the first trolley company in Plymouth back in 1886. But guys, it's tough to commute when you live in Boston, never mind coming from the Cape.